Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on dividing algebraic fractions with single terms on the numerators and denominators. Now let's just think how we usually divide fractions. If I had two thirds divided by four fifths, what do we do? Now do you remember the sort of keep, change, flip type method? We keep the first fraction as it is, we change the divide into a times, and we flip the second fraction, otherwise known as reciprocating. To reciprocate a fraction means to do one over it, which then flips the fraction over. And then to times two fractions, we just multiply the numerators, so two times five is 10, and we multiply the denominators, three times four is 12. And then we can always simplify that fraction. Now, just because these are algebraic fractions, we have some variables in here, like a and b, the mass doesn't change, the mass remains exactly the same. So we do the same thing, keep, change, flip. We keep this as it is. We change the divide for times and we flip the second fraction. So that becomes three over four a squared. Now there's some clever thing we could do with cross canceling, but I'm just gonna do what we did before. We multiply the numerators. So nine a times three, well nine times three is 27. So it's 27 a. And then b squared times four a squared. Well, we got the four first. And then we have the variables in alphabetical order. So the a squared first, then the b squared. And then we see how could we simplify this fraction? Well, notice we've got an a at the top and we've got an a squared at the bottom. If you imagine that a squared as a a, because it's a times a is a squared, then we can get rid of one of those a's by dividing top and bottom of this fraction by a. And when we do that, that gets rid of that a, we're just left with 27. And when we divide the bottom by the a, if that's a times a, and we divide by one of those a's, we're just left with a single a, so it'd be 4a, and then we still got the b squared. So that would be the final answer.